Are they taking the street? What's happening? Who's taking the street? I'm a little worried about this because cars tend to get a little crazy when this shit happens. Guys, back out. Uh, this is not planned. So this was not really planned, and I know Des would be freaking out right now. I don't really know what happened, Des, but I'm not going to be the white guy that tells him to get out of the street. That's not my place. So I guess we're occupying space here. It's pretty fucking cool. I'm just going to stay here and make sure no one gets run over by irate Trumpster divers. Round it, everybody! Please excuse us when we reset our democracy. Thank you for being patient. I will clear this up in one second. Yeah, I didn't know this was happening. I thought we were taking both sides of the street and yeah. just occupying the sidewalks. And then people started filtering in. So they're in kind of a ceremony right now. I'm going to walk in, and as soon as this is done, I'll have them clear to the sides. Okay. Yeah, I, Yeah. this was yeah, kind of we'd surprising rather, to me, too. We'd rather do that than start writing tickets or no arresting people. I'll, yeah. uh, See if you can I just got to, I can't go in and stop, like, a sacred ceremony. So once they're done, I'll, I'll ask them to respectfully clear. Okay. All we right. got a couple minutes, and then we got to... I'm not going to tell them that they have to move. That's up to them. Not my place. Because I don't see this shit going anywhere. And I think it's kind of a beautiful thing when the indigenous leaders in our movement take a major street. It's pretty cool. Cops are coming. Hopefully we can get this round dance off in time. Looks like the cops are coming slow. I'll have to talk to them. <laughs> I, uh, I will clear this up in one second. Yeah, I didn't know this was happening. I thought we were taking both sides of the street and just occupying the sidewalks. And then people started filtering in. So... They're in kind of a ceremony right now. I'm gonna walk in and as soon as this is done, I'll have them clear to the sides. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. This was yeah, kind of we'd surprising rather, to me too. We'd rather do that than start writing tickets or no arresting people. I'll, uh, yeah. See if you can I just gotta. I can't go in and stop like a sacred ceremony. So once they're done, I'll, I'll ask them to respectfully clear. Okay. We All got right. a couple minutes and then we gotta we gotta clear it. Got it. I am not gonna tell them that they have to move. That's up to them. Not my place. You're here. <laughs> I don't. I have nothing to do with this, dude. I mean, this is Baker right here. Okay, let me talk to him. Yeah. 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 Stay for a minute too. Drop the live stream. Why? Why? Because it's Baker. I, I won't look at that, maybe, but I'm gonna hit the live stream. Yeah, I'm just saying, like in our conversation. Look, I know people are being inconvenienced by this, but honestly, you're gonna be real fucking inconvenienced when there's no more clean water and when the police are stomping on your neck because you want to stand up for your rights. So stand up right now when it matters, or shut the fuck up when, it, when it's no more time. Sorry. You can honk all you want, it's super important. There, we are in the fucking beginning of the water wars. And if you don't think that's real, Flint, Michigan still doesn't have clean water. Indian, uh, like um, Native American reservations all across the country don't have clean water. And they're threatening clean water now with these pipelines. They have been, they've been, they've been busting and, and leaking and being covered up by these same companies that are putting billions and billions of dollars into this rather than into infrastructure and clean energy. We refuse to stand down. This is too important. Good to see you. Hey, brother. Our people! 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 Our people!
Beautiful night tonight. For all you watching, we got a news chopper up there reporting some bullshit, no doubt. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, reporting bullshit. Thanks for the bullshit. Share this video, you guys. Everybody on here, share this. Share the video. Share the video. We have to show what's going on. If the cops step in and get aggressive, we have to be watching that. We have to share it. Share the crap out of this. This is not permitted. We did not coordinate this. We have to start shutting shit down. Look at these buses. They don't even know what to do. Sorry, folks. It's going to be rough until we can get this shit right. We're going to have to put up with some inconveniences. Because ultimately the option, the other option is to lay down and let them poison our water, take all the land, kill all the indigenous. It's genocide. It's nothing short of genocide. For those of you that have been to Standing Rock, you've seen it. You've seen the murder in the eyes of the sheriffs there. You've seen the racism. You've seen the oppression. It is not new. It did not come in with, with no dapple. It did not come in with the Keystone XL pipeline. This shit is a symptom of a racist, classist, white supremacist system. It's a system of oppression. So, just so you all know that are watching this, that live in Los Angeles, that didn't come out, if you had come out and we had had 2,000 people here, we could have taken the fucking street. We need you. We need the numbers. We need the people to show up, turn out, stand up, and fight back, or this is pointless. We cannot fight a revolution with 0.1% of our fucking population standing up against this. We need people. What do we, do we when need the people you. Are under attack? Stand up, fight back. What do we do when the people are under attack? Stand up, fight back. Stand up, fight back. Stand up, fight back. People on the bus just looking pissed. Believe it or not, we are fighting for you. Water is life. 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 Water is life! Water is life! Water is life! We gotta get used to this, folks, and we gotta turn out in three, four times this number. No joke. Every time. I know that there's other things going on. We're at the uh, the Wilshire Army Corps of Engineers building, Giovanni. Uh, we're marching now. We're marching down Wilshire towards Figueroa. So angry. So angry. What was that? Oh, yeah, it's kind of shitty. But they're trying to poison the water and we're fighting against that. So, like, have some empathy, you know? They're, they're about to kill people in North Dakota. This is serious shit. Hey, Trump, if your tiny little fingers can work your phone, you just try defunding California. We are strong. We give more money to the feds than we take. And once we start selling marijuana, we won't fucking need you. By all means, come at us, bro. Our streets! Our streets! We're headed towards City Hall. If anybody's watching and wants to meet us, we're headed towards City Hall. Uh, where we're gonna we're gonna go yell at uh, the office of Spaghetti Garcetti. Who, uh, who finally, finally, after much pressure and much waiting. Let us through. I don't know, man. It looks like they don't want to let us through, but. Yeah, I, I was thinking, of, are they stopping traffic so we can go? It's a lively group. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to try to do. Look at this beautiful sight, you guys. I can't even catch them all in frame. Sidewalks. Deborah. That's far too civil. We need some civil disobedience. Otherwise, nobody gives a shit. Gotta shut it down. So yeah, share the crap out of this video, you guys. Everybody share this video. Let's get the word out. We're like a wild, uncaged animal roaming the streets of Los Angeles without real direction, but we have purpose. 
We want to stop this pipeline. We want to stop white supremacy. We want to stop colonizing native lands. Sorry, brother. for them. Well past time. Engineers building where uh, where they chose to fast track President Trump's pipeline. Resident Trump as my friend Lydia calls him. Well we don't really we don't honor the supremacy of colonizers. We fight oppression. Even and especially when it's state sanctioned. We gather here in prayer and action. We need to continue that prayer and action into the future. We heard tonight from the governor's office there in North Dakota that tonight they will begin drilling. We know that process is gonna take 83 days. So we're not done yet, not by a long shot. Brother said tonight, the people took the streets. We're a family, we stand together. We don't stop, we don't let this stop us. So we keep moving forward, stay focused. They focus on the on the war ahead. We're not done. I actually have a realistic expectation of change based on the understanding of history. Understanding that we know when we unite together, we can change the world because we already have. We seen it a generation ago when my mom and my dad and that whole generation fought a wounded knee back in 73. They fought for their right to pray. Simply to have sage, to have water, to have drum in ceremony was outlawed for over a hundred years for the Lakota people, for the indigenous people. And now we can march in the streets in Los Angeles and carry our prayers. That is what power is. That's the power of us. That's the power of change. That's the power of uniting together and working together. What we saw at Standing Rock, every tribe in America and the hundreds throughout the world showed up for us again and again. The Ogallas have been there since Standing Rock issued the call and they are still there. We still have our relatives on the front line. I'm not sure what they're gonna do, but my heart is with them. My heart is at Standing Rock even now. We got some hard days ahead. It's not gonna be easy. Our tactics might have to change because there's a new administration in town. Our strategists, our thinkers, our elders, our young people need to get together, start having these conversations about what does effective change look like. One of the things I am saying is that I'm grateful for all of you here and that the months that I was out at Standing Rock, I saw people from all over willing to put their bodies on the pipeline, willing to risk their freedom, to give up their jobs, their homes, and their comfort. And we lived on the ground, and we became family through our collective struggle, through the hardships we have endured. Right now, this struggle is bigger than just Standing Rock. It's bigger than one pipeline. Because unless you're a billionaire and a friend of Donald Trump, he's coming after all of us. 
Right. Our only response is to be together for one another in solidarity and in unity. Those are my best words. The ones Thank I have you. next are not going to be as good, so I'm going to just cut it off there. <laughs> Talk to somebody up there. We want to thank you, media, for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, folks, I'm ending this stream. Thank you all for those that came out. Very much appreciated. Thank you, brother. Uh, dude, of course. Thank you. I'm really glad I could be here. Let me know what else I can do. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, get involved. Call Donald Trump. Maybe his tiny hands will be able to answer the phone and you can hear your ire, uh, but he cut the line, so probably not. Um, all right, folks, love you all, and uh, check in. We're going to be at CNN 2 p.m. Saturday, CNN 6430 Sunset. We're going to shut it down. Shut it down.